Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through three simple tricks to create unique grit textures. So grit textures are pretty cool, especially if you digitize them. They can add a really handmade look to your digital artwork. I actually have a full kit of those. I'll leave a link in the video description to those. But if you'd like to make them yourself, I'm going to share three quick tips on how to do that. So the first tip is just using a regular ink pad. This is my favorite brand of ink pads. They just don't dry out as fast in my experience. So that's what I would recommend. If you click in the link in the video description, I also have all of the supplies that are seen in this video listed for you as well. So I'm just going to take this ink pad and this is a really simple one, but we're gonna take things a little bit further. So the first thing you can do with an ink pad is just press it into paper. And you can get some nice textures that way too, but if you'd like to take it further, you can grab a sandwich baggie, so really simple right here, and you're just gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna press it into the sandwich baggie. And then I have a really small spray bottle that's just filled with water, that's all that's in here. And from kind of far away, you're just gonna spray it once, and then you're just gonna flip it over and press it into your paper. So this will kind of expand those dots and make them a little bit darker as well. And even if you have some smudging area, if you scan that in later on, it could actually give you some really nice effects. So that is trick number one. So I'm gonna set this aside. So trick number two uses the ink pad once again, and you're just gonna grab some masking tape. I really like this kind of masking tape because it's not quite as sticky, um, which is really handy with this trick. Um, if you want some thicker textures, then just grab some thicker um, or wider size tape. So all you're gonna do is grab a piece of tape and you're just gonna lay it on top of your ink pad and press it in to pick up some of that ink. And then you're just gonna lay this piece of tape onto your paper and then you're gonna lift it up. So you can get some really nice textures for edging um, or borders as well. This works really good for borders. So press it into the paper. And if you want a more distressed look, you just press it in again and you just keep doing it so it gets a little more worn with time. So you can get some really nice effects just by doing something really simple like putting some tape into your ink pad. Okay, so on to trick number three. For trick number three, I've got a regular paper plate right here. I've got some speedball ink, and then I've got a burnisher or an ink roller to kind of spread this ink around. So this one's pretty common, but then we're gonna take it a little step further too. So the first thing you wanna do is just lay a line of ink down on your paper plate, and you're gonna grab your burnisher and you're gonna spread the ink all around. Okay, and then most people know you can just create some nice ink textures like this. I actually have a kit full of free ink roller textures, so I'll leave a link in the video description for those as well. So this is a really nice, really easy way to create grit textures, but taking it one step further, now that we have our plate, you can go back to your tape and grab a piece of tape and you can do the exact same trick that we did with the ink pad, only apply it to this ink roller ink right here. And th these will give you some darker textures. So if you want a bolder look, this works really well for that. So lay the tape down and lift it back up and you can see how nice these textures are. And you can get that worn effect if you want to peel it a few times as well. So really fun. So this is kind of like six tricks instead of three, just because you can you know, mix and match with what we've already done. So the last part of this trick is grabbing some household uh, saran wrap. So I'm just gonna grab a piece of this. And what you wanna do is kind of clump it into a ball. And then you're gonna take it and dip it into your remaining ink on your plate. And you can get some kind of rougher textures. And the more you kind of press in, the more distressed it looks. So you can do this a bunch of times. And a nice variation of this trick would be if you wanted to use some crumpled paper or some crumpled tin foil, you could get some really nice effects that way too. So just some different looks depending on what your project entails. You can really bring that digital artwork to life with some really simple textures. So those are three simple tricks to create some unique grit textures. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. And once again, click on the link in the video description and you'll have access to all the supplies and those free textures I mentioned as well. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next week.